Alrighty, folks, this has been a good while since I made a video here, and uh, anyway, I wanted to make a video on this Biscayne here, and uh, we finally got uh, something that come here for it. So we got something that finally arrived for it. Let me show y'all what it is. This is a special treat here. Alright, so we come on up on our 59 Biscayne here, and uh, as I was showing y'all and everything, that's a motor mount uh, bolt holes there. And uh, of course, like I said, this car was originally a six cylinder car. But if we come over here, they have arrived. They have a raft. Now these are V8 motor mount. Uh, these are V8 motor mounts here. And they are unique to each other. So I'm gonna point that out there. So this first time now, first time and probably it's hard to tell. It could be 20, 30, 40 years. I don't think it's been that long. Uh, will it bolt up? Will it bolt up? Look at that. That is beautiful there. I mean, them holes lined up just beautiful. There's one. Let's try this other one here. Now, this side did have a motor mount on it not that long ago. The guy took it off, and uh, I don't think he realized it's a six-cylinder motor mount, and he's putting a V8 in his 59 El Camino, but tried to kind of tell him about that, because these are completely different motor mounts, the V8 versus the six-cylinder, but anyway, and uh, it's two different bolt patterns there. This is the one for the V8. If it will stay there. This one I might have to hold. But as you can see, I mean, it lines up beautiful. Something to hold this on there. Look there. That's been a long time, buddy, since this had a motor mount on this car. Long time. Let's, see, let's find something to hold this motor mount on here just temporarily here. There we go. There we go. Now we got both of them set up. That's the way they're supposed to be set up. Just like that. So, uh, they line up beautiful. That one I just got, I took a stick just to kind of hold it on there so it quit sliding. That one does line up beautiful too. But, these are original now GM factory motor mounts for a small block eight so I think we're going to take a slightly different direction and uh, we're going to take a little bit different path I don't think we're going to do the six cylinder swap I think we're going to go with the v8 like I mentioned before I got a roller 305 i really don't want to put in here but you know it's just something to throw in here just to make the car move i really don't care what's in it i just want the car to move but so that's our next step the car is now you know more complete so we got to get a door yet for it that's going to take some time there because that i got to I'm going to save some money up for that. <laughs> it might be a good while for that yet. Because I still got to finish our Durango over there yet. But uh, I have made contact. And I do have uh, people out there that are uh, I got contact with that I know where some doors at. That are uh, really nice. That will fit this car. But I do want to get that driver's side door. And I think once we get that, then we'll be almost set. We got to get a radiator support and get this valise here. But I think the grill and everything else, we can kind of straighten out. Headlight bezels are done. 
But it is what it is. But the inner fenders and I think even the battery tray, if we're careful with that, I think we can reuse a lot of that. This side's not really rotted out too bad. I wish he wouldn't have picked this darn car up by the radiator support because he screwed it up. But it is what it is. But yeah, I wanted to make this little update here and I hope y'all enjoy it. But yeah, these are the correct small block V8 motor mounts for this car. I'm not sure what they come out of. They probably out of a 59 or a 60. They say the 59 to 64 will interchange. Now, I can't 100% guarantee that, but they do bulk up. They line up, so. This one's offset. That's what kept throwing me off. I couldn't figure out how this side bulked it up. But it's offset like that where this side is, you know, fairly even. A little bit offset. Not too much. Now the motor mounts that go on top of these, you can order them anywhere. But those motor mounts there, those things are kind of hard to get. I mean, very hard. And people want an arm and a leg for them. So good luck. But they are out there, and they do repop them, but I want a set of nice original GM motor mounts. But anyway, hopefully here soon, eventually, once I get my Durango, you know, more straightened out, I want to get on this thing, and uh, I have priced these bushings for the front suspension. So, anyway, I've been pricing all that. I think I'm going to replace all the bushings in it. And uh, the ball joints, I've already done priced all of them. So, I like to do, want to do all the bushings in the ball joints. And uh, get a pair of coal springs for the front. And go from there. I'm hoping the drums will turn, but I'm not sure. But I'm not going to make the same mistake I did on my Etzel over there when i screwed up the drums on that we're going to take and do this right and uh i'm pretty sure the drums and the hubs are riveted together on this yeah you can grind the rivets off and separate them but we're not going to do that if they'll turn then you know we'll just turn them but if not then we'll uh we're going to come up with something there because I don't want to go through the same mistake I made on my Etzel when I did the front brakes. But that's going to be later on, much, much, much later on. But it's a little update here. I hope you all enjoy it. And uh, there we are. We have our factory set of GM 59 Chevy small block motor mounts. Oh, yeah, and I just want to uh, show you all a little something else real quick too. All right, so you got this single master cylinder here. And, uh, you know, don't really like them, in my opinion. Kind of feel like they're unsafe. Front brakes go out, back brakes go out, vice versa, whatever the case may be. You ain't getting stopped. So let me show you a trick here. This is a uh, single master cylinder here. I believe it has a one-inch bore. I'll do a little more research on that. Let me show you a magic trick. So you can pull this one off. This one's already been unbolted for years. Take this dual master cylinder here, which is set up for uh, manual brakes, manual drum brakes all the way around. Matter of fact, it has a one inch bore, and it will bolt right up to the car. Then all you got to do is come down here and separate the rear line, which is over here at this T. The rear line's right there, so you could probably throw in a 90 right there and then just take this line and throw in a union and run in on over. And then you'll have your front and rear brakes separated because you want to plumb them separate. And then you'll have your uh, upgrade there. Just a real simple, easy dual master cylinder upgrade there. A little trick there. It will bolt right up. That's a GM master cylinder too. That's a drum brake master cylinder. One inch bore. That one might have a smaller bore. 
But anyway, a little upgrade there. Hope y'all enjoy. Just a little secret.